I'll give you the quick pitch now. Swallow is a cool 50. He works in Norfolk CID, where as most regional detectives drive a classic or unusual car, Swallow has saved up to buy a brand new five-door Audi A3 turbo diesel in metallic graphite grey with a black fabric interior. He's not interested in sat nav leather seats or CD stacker systems. That to Swallow is just so much bullshit. His vice? Well, booze has been done, so I thought it would be quite nice if he was bulimic. I got the idea from seeing John Prescott cleaning himself up in the toilets of the Savoy. Fastidious but austere, Swallow always carries a checklist of items. A comb, two biros, fishermen's friends, the mint rather than the people, and a faint smell of vomit. Plus an evidence bag which he never uses for evidence, but keeps folded in the right-hand pocket of his donkey jacket in case he has a big meal. Yes, Swallow's always very well turned out, with pressed slacks, black leather tie, buffed up shoes, and a rich brown leather jacket. He has a restless mind. Even in his downtime, he has to occupy himself. Rather than immerse himself in chess, been done, Swallow solves dingbats and other word-related puzzles, including word searches. He likes nothing more than to sit down with a copy of the puzzler in a wicker chair, then look out over the fence and immerse himself in puzzles. He also has a weakness for doing 10,000 piece jigsaws. In case you haven't noticed, this is a metaphor for solving a case. And in the last episode, we'd see him put in the final piece and suddenly, seeing that it depicts the face of the local con man. Quite how or why this would work isn't yet scoped out. He's also a keen cook, gardener and birder. He has no middle fingers on one hand, so he can't swear, but is permanently doing the heavy metal sign. I see Swallow as something of an enigma. He has the largest collection of samurai swords in Europe, but no one knows where he got them from. And we're not cooking or tending to his gardens, or completing jigsaws, or finding words, or watching rare wetland birds. He plays kendo. Japanese martial art with body armor and big sticks of bamboo. His sparring partner and friend is Chan, a Chinese widower who owns a laundry next to Wallace Shoes on Exchange Street in Norwich. He's a useful foil to swallow because as a laundry man, he doesn't think like a police officer. Throughout the pilot episode, we see Swallow constantly harassing a circus, even though left-wing university-educated police chiefs reprimand him for it. But at the end of the pilot episode, his right-wing views are vindicated when he blows the lid on a drug smuggling racket. He works out that the drugs are being smuggled in the collective rector of circus elephants when he spots bags of drugs among the grassy balls of dung on the circus floor. He lives alone. His marriage broke down because his wife was too selfish to recognize his cleverness. Is he politically correct? Who, Swallow? No chance. He's old school and is aware that a disproportionately high amount of crime is committed by the unemployed and asylum seekers. So why not stop them and shake them down? The squares at Police HQ can swivel. In the pilot episode, Swallow suddenly notices there are no black people in Norfolk. Have they been spirited away, or were they never there? He has to crack the case. Also in the pilot episode, he wages a war against the traveling community who almost never have the correct documentation for their vehicles. He frequently impounds them to get them off the road. The pilot episode follows Swallow as he's assigned a naive young sidekick, DC Wide-Eye, a stickler for the rules. Together, this odd couple have come together to find out who's been fly-tipping in the residential area. It goes without saying the show will look terrific. The series will be peppered with skyscapes of Norfolk, while the opening sequence will be shots of huge deciduous oaks, intercut with two masked men playing kendo, intercut with a drive-by shooting, intercut with two hands playing a jigsaw. The reveal at the end is that the Kenshi are Swallow and Chan, and the jigsaw player is also Swallow. Incredibly, the rights to Swallow are still available for purchase. I can be contacted through the publishers.